Restricting the range of solutions when we're solving trig equations. So we'll start in the main application here and enter our equation. Cos of x has to equal 0 0.5. And uh, I tap execute. Now down the bottom we're in standard, real and degrees. So uh, we'll get exact values if we stay in standard. Let's go to decimal and see what happens here. So if I simply put the word solve on the next line and tap execute, uh, we get a general solution, which isn't always the one we want. And uh, I'll just go into um, landscape mode. There it is. You can see the whole of the general solution here. Uh, negative 60 plus cos uh, 360 times a constant or positive 60 plus 360 times some other constant. Right back to um, class pad mode. Now, so to avoid that, one of the things we can do is um, uh, how should we do this? Let's take a copy of the equation down and use the interactive advanced solve to start with and choose the solve numerically switch here and say that we want solutions between 0 and 360. And now when I tap OK, Classpad warns us may solutions uh, may exist outside of this range, but there are the two that it's found within the range, 60 and 300 degrees. So that's a fairly good way of doing it. There's other ways though, is also to, um, if I bring down the word solve and copy down a, a, our equation as well, so that we've got solve cos x is equal to 0 0.5. I can also put a restriction. So here comes the keyboard down to math 3 and given, and you'll notice on the same um, math 3 menu here are all the inequalities so that we want to solve this equation given that 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 360. And now when I tap execute to solve this one, Again, we just get the restrictions and this restriction can go inside or outside of the solve command. So uh, let's see how can I build that up. Let's take a solve from here, the equation from here. So the normal syntax solve equation comma for the variable and then we close our bracket. And I could also park the restriction on the outside of the whole solve command and tap execute. And again, we get the same result. And just one more look at that in landscape mode. So you can see we've got several ways of actually solving these trig equations to always get the desired range of solutions.